When having a tracheostomy tube, a common complication which may arise is pneumonia. This occurs for several reasons. First, the tracheostomy tube is a foreign object in the airway. It is an ideal habitat for bacteria. Bacteria can attach to the tracheostomy tube, reproduce, and cause infection. Second, with the tracheostomy tube, the natural airway immune system is breached. Normally, air enters through the nose or mouth. As the air travels through the respiratory tract, there are many defense systems in place to stop bacteria and viruses. However, as the air enters the lungs, the immune system decreases in intensity since most of the viruses and bacteria have been trapped or killed higher up in the respiratory tract. Very few bacteria and viruses make it all the way down to the lungs to cause pneumonia. With having a tracheostomy tube, the immune system is bypassed. Air enters the trachea and travels to the lungs. There are few defense systems this low in the respiratory tract. This means very weak viruses and bacteria which would not cause illness in the normal population may cause pneumonia in someone with a tracheostomy tube. Third, a tracheostomy tube disrupts how the airway functions. When a virus or bacteria is present, it often gets caught in mucus. Normally, the mucus is coughed up. With a tracheostomy tube, the mucus may not be completely cleared. Part of it may remain in the tracheostomy tube. This may allow the bacteria to continue to live and reproduce, which may lead to infection. Due to all these variables, weak bacteria and viruses can cause serious infection in individuals with tracheostomy tubes. Additionally, individuals with tracheostomy tubes may only show mild symptoms, which may be brushed aside, when in reality, the bacteria or virus is causing tissue destruction and pneumonia. Pneumonia symptoms in trached patients may be different than pneumonia symptoms in the general population. Usually, the first sign of a respiratory infection in a trached patient is the sputum changes. The sputum may be thicker, turn a different color, and may have an odor. Also, the person may have an increase in the amount of sputum heat produces. For more information about sputum, please see the video in Sickness and in Health, Know Your Sputum. The increase in sputum will often lead to an increase in coughing. Also, the sound of the cough may change. A fever may or may not be present. A person may or may not have an increase in his white blood cell count. The person will often be tired. The person's breathing may change. The person may have a faster respiration rate. Also, the person may complain of chest pressure or tightness or experience the sensation that he is drowning. A year after getting my tracheostomy tube, I became mildly sick. I knew I had an infection. I went to the emergency department. My chest x-ray was clear. I was told I was not sick and sent home. Two weeks later, I became gravely ill. This time, the chest x-ray in the emergency department indicated I had pneumonia. There was no doubt in my mind I had pneumonia two weeks prior, but the chest x-ray had missed it. I began wondering if pneumonia may not always show up on chest x-rays in individuals with tracheostomy tubes. I asked this question in an online Facebook group. Over 80% of the people who had tracheostomy tubes and had developed pneumonia had normal chest x-rays. They were diagnosed via CT scan. As the years have passed, I have been sick with pneumonia numerous times. Very rarely does my pneumonia show up on chest x-ray. One time, I was extremely sick. The doctor said my lungs sounded terrible. The chest x-ray came back clear. The physician said he did not believe the results. He ordered a chest CT scan. The CT scan came back that I had pneumonia all over my lungs. The doctor was baffled why my chest x-ray was clear when in fact I had a horrible lung infection. Since that time, if I'm ever sick with pneumonia, I always request a chest CT scan. Time and time again, the chest x-ray is clear while the chest CT scan will show pneumonia. Please keep this in mind if seeking medical attention for a possible lung infection in an individual with a tracheostomy tube. If the chest x-ray is normal, 
ask for a chest CT scan. Treatment of pneumonia in trached patients often requires a long course of antibiotics. 14 days to one month of antibiotics may be needed. Many physicians try to treat infections with just a few days of antibiotics, but from my experience, this is almost always ineffective at clearing my infection. Since the normal immune system is disrupted by the tracheostomy tube, it may take someone with a tracheostomy tube longer to clear a respiratory infection than someone without a tracheostomy tube. Thus, a longer course of antibiotics may be needed. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Last week, a rabbit ran into our garage. For more details about that story, please see the video, Going Outside with a Trach Tube on the Coldest Day of the Year. My dad has been looking for the rabbit in hopes he could find it and get it out of our garage. Our garage is not a suitable place for a rabbit. I was very concerned the rabbit would die. It did not have food or water while in the garage. A few days ago, my dad was moving items around in the garage. He heard something in the corner. He cleared out the corner of the garage, but he did not see the rabbit. He then started looking in containers. He found the rabbit had fallen into a large trash bin. We have no idea how it got in there, but it was obvious there would have been no way the rabbit could have gotten out. My dad placed a piece of cardboard over the top of the garbage can. He then transported the rabbit and the garbage can to a nearby field. My dad freed the rabbit. There was a concern when the rabbit was released if it would be healthy enough to survive. I kept praying the rabbit would be okay. Today, as I was getting ready to film a video for my other YouTube channel, Chronic Illness, God is My Strength, I looked out the window. There was a rabbit in the yard. I quickly told my mom, we both looked at the rabbit and believe it is the same rabbit which was in our garage. I am so excited and happy the rabbit seems to be okay. Oh, happy joy. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.